everybody. Welcome to the 2018 Autonomous Snowplow Competition in beautiful St. Paul, Minnesota. This year is the Super Bowl edition. It's the grand finale with the Super Bowl right down the street in Minneapolis. Back to St. Paul, all eyes are on Rice Park for this year's competition. You know, seven years ago when we got started, autonomy was really a pretty wild concept. We can do it in theory. Is it practical? Not at all. In fact, the catchphrase was, it's not a matter of if, it's when. Well, now is the time. Compliments of left-handed robotics. We actually have a working commercialized prototype here that's being commercially sold as we speak. So we're gonna see that in action. We're also gonna meet the drivers, meet the judges, meet the team. We're gonna see some great competition. Let's check it out. The vehicles have to autonomously start and stop from a garage. They have to avoid both stationary obstacles and moving obstacles because you don't want the plow to run over obstacles. And at the same time, we've also asked teams to do this within a short amount of time. We are Marquette University Woo! down in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, this is our first year here. Uh, and this big behemoth behind us is Arnold, or Project Arnold. Uh, we're out here, we're just having a fun time. We've got this big old loud thing that's making a lot of noise, hypes up the crowd. Hi, I'm Bill Henniker. I'm on uh, Dunwoody's robotic snowplow team, Team Windigo. Uh, we're here today for the autonomous snowplow competition that they put on every year as part of the uh, St. Paul Winter Carnival. This is uh, Team Windigo's second year in the competition. Uh, we got third last year. It's always a navigation issue. We never. So we, uh, we upgraded to a radar sensor, an R-gauge radar sensor from a company called Banner uh, that we can set the distance on and the sensitivity on. So the moving obstacle will trigger it, but not the stationary obstacle or any spectators in the crowd. So I think we've got our, our moving obstacle figured out this year. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get uh, some of our parallel processing so we could do some uh, obstacle uh, detection with uh, camera and LiDAR. So we're working on that uh, basically from now until tomorrow and then we'll have a, hopefully a better showing for that. I am uh, David Galbranson and I'm with the Snow Devil from Dunwoody College of Technology. And as of right now, we are currently doing the Triple I run and that is a run that is uh, supposed to simulate your driveway. The basis behind the uh, main navigation is we run along a magnetic strip on both sides. That's going to be our boundary box. That type of boundary is supposed to tell the robot where it can and cannot go. Anywhere within that box, it's going to make almost like a spring spiral all the way up and down the plow, up, uh, driveway. In order to do that, we have code running that tells it to take a right turn and to keep on going until it hits the other side of the magnetic strips. It plowed 75% of the snow, which is excellent. It did its job perfectly. It was just human error that got in the way. Well, we geared the robot to have uh, about 700 foot-pounds of torque. So it moves about the speed of a snail, but nothing can stop it. Uh, we hooked up the LiDAR, we just went through and just rewired it, tried to weatherproof it a bit better, make it easier to set up and run. Uh, just, you know, work out the kinks. It's our second year of this robot, and uh, I think we finally have it dialed into a spot we like it. It's over the moon right now with this one. I'm not even worried about the next one yet. My name is Clint Ott. I'm the uh, Director of Robotics Engineering for Left Hand Robotics. We're a sponsor of the Autonomous Snowplow Competition here. Um, we, what we've got is the first commercial class self-driving snow clearing robot. It's primarily aimed at sidewalks and pathways and uh, we are getting ready to ramp up production for the 2018-2019 snow season. We, uh, when we started our project here about two years ago, uh, my business partner and I 
originally felt like we were going to probably look at developing a solution uh, for consumers, for residential snow clearing. Uh, but when we started to investigate and, and dig into the market a little more, we realized quickly that there was a complete void of any kind of uh, commercial grade equipment. Uh, and the need is huge. The, the labor challenge that these contractors face in gathering a labor to clear sidewalks in the wintertime, it's unbelievable. So we use uh, real-time kinetic GPS technology, which means we put a base station kind of near the clearing site, and uh, each of our, which has a GPS unit on it, and each of our robots has its own GPS antenna, and it uses uh, kind of phase shift in the GPS signal to get down to inch level accuracy on its position relative to the base station. Uh, during the off season, we go out with a specially created tool we map the pathways that we want the robots to clear, along with the kind of path options, whether they're clearing to the right, to the left, applying de-icer or not. Um, and then we load that up into our robot operations center. It's stored as a path for that site. And then when the snow starts falling, you can deploy them remotely, or you can go ahead and drop them off on site and uh, get on your smartphone app and tell them to go. My name is Ben Pollitz and I am here from the University of Michigan Dearborn at the 2018 Autonomous Snowplow Competition. I, I picked up several skills while developing the various robots that I've worked on with uh, U of M Dearborn's uh, Intelligent Systems Club, including working with, uh, working with stereo vision and vision processing and working on uh, localization and things of that nature. And that's, that I believe was a big factor in uh, the offer I received with uh, um, Hyundai's, Hyundai Mobis which is a, a tier one automotive supplier, the, the uh, research and development uh, subsidiary of Hyundai. Hey, I'm Pratiksha. I graduated in May 2017 from the U of M. Used to be on the snow squirrel team, and now I'm at Optum doing process improvement on a team of industrial engineers. Autonomous Snowplow gave me a lot of opportunities to work with people who weren't just in my major. You know, I worked with computer science kids, mechanical kids, um, and having that interdisciplinary experience really helped out because Optum's a healthcare company, so I need to know how to work with nurses, doctors, engineers, computer scientists, and everybody. Yeah, so our motivation is primarily to, to get to meet some of the competitors. Obviously, in our business, uh, getting the best and the brightest of the, uh, of the engineering types is, is on the forefront. And we felt like this, uh, this group of students uh, have direct knowledge and experience with the technology and the solutions that we're trying to develop. Uh, obviously, there's plenty of places we could come, uh, but an event like this uh, is certainly going to bring a lot of those people into the same place, and that's, that's our primary focus. Engineering is, is just plain cool. I mean, when you start looking at, at developing the kinds of products that are being developed today, and if you can get involved with some of the competitive teams, like the autonomous snowplow competition, uh, that's going to prepare you for the real world. Some of the California companies like SpaceX and Tesla and Apple, and they're actually looking for engineers who have participated in these kinds of uh, competitions for three, three reasons. One, they've worked as a team. Two, they've actually built something. And three, they've met a deadline. And all those things are really important if you're going to be ready for an engineering career. So if you can get involved in competitions like this one or, or any other, do it because you'll, you'll learn a lot just from, uh, from actually building something. Snow clearing seems like an excellent opportunity to get autonomy involved. It's hard, back-breaking work in really cold weather, and no one really likes doing it. The winner of this year is 2018 8th Annual Institute Navigation Autonomous Snowplow Competition is the University of Minnesota Snow Squirrel. Yeah!